and so I will be taking over. Hi, Mariam. If you're talking, we probably we are not hearing you. Hello, Mariam, are you there? Okay, guys, um, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? It looks like Mariam is not probably hearing from me as well. If you can hear me, let me know. All right, great. Yeah, I think Mariam can catch up where we are, but yeah, let's get started. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, Hope everyone is is doing great on and also had a great start of the week week four and um yesterday i wasn't uh, into the stand-up but i had that it was really great so as we start always i see the recording is on we can start by announcements if we have announcements from the team um the first announcement i can give um uh, from my side is, well, we, we received suggestions on how we can change stand-ups or improve stand-ups and also other tutorials. Uh, but the team is working on the suggestions to, to see which su suggestions can be very fit and also very valuable and easy to implement, as you understand. So meanwhile the stand-up is going to be the same until the decision is made so you can incorporate your suggestions to the stand-ups uh, to make sure that the stand-ups are really beneficial to to you guys and everyone who is attending so the stand-ups for today is going to follow the same pattern probably for tomorrow as we are working hard to implement your suggestions so stand-ups will be about how you're doing on your work so far so we are on tuesday and also challenges that you're facing and also questions that you're having on the task especially for the week four challenge documents i think that you you guys are going to work in groups so also i'm not sure if the groups are started maybe uh, a tutor on the call can probably clarify so I make sure that I know how to even pose some questions from the groups. Musa, are you on the call? Or Anastasia Desmond? Um, okay. I'm on the call, uh, Everest. Yeah, Musa. What's the question? So I missed it. I was saying that I look, I look through the documents, the challenge document, and see that it's going to be a group work. I was wondering if the groups have already started, so to make sure I, I know how to probably run this standard. So. I'm not sure if they've started any work yet. Um, we assigned tutors uh, to, to groups uh, late yesterday, so I, I haven't communicated with, with my group yet. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it will get started. Right. Um, this month, do you have any crew or anesthesia? 
you know if um, the groups that have started working like i think my group they have already started no all right thanks for clarifying well let's get started and yeah let's try to let's start, start sharing and uh, the announcement from my side was that and uh, also the groups um means that groups are, have, have started i don't know if we have any announcements from the team besides what i have shared else we can keep off yeah sharing and of course as usual you you already know that uh when i'm leading a stand-up i really like volunteers to share than me calling people randomly because what you're sharing is probably very prepared especially the questions than me taking you randomly to to share with the, the team let's have this um mindset of volunteering because we are developing you guys to be job ready at the end and you will need to contribute to the meetings you need to contribute to yeah to the suggestions the kickoff meetings that you will be having when you go to the world of work so i see three hands already so we can start from ken then next person is binia shares how you you work you you're doing challenges questions on the challenge documents yeah or anything else hi ken hi good morning everyone so good morning me and my group we had a meeting yesterday night we elected two people as our managers olufemi and nados they will be leading us during the tasks as we planned <clears throat> we'll be sharing the task today after this stand up so <clears throat> we'll start with task one each of the sub task in task one will assign it to two people so when the people assigned to the task are done we'll have a meeting so that they can explain to the rest of the group how they handle the task so when we finish task one then we'll reassign again the other the other tasks so yesterday basically we just went out to look for resources and information about the challenge you have this week because in our group we realized that it was only one person who has done a project similar to the challenge you have this week so we just set out to go and research so that today we now share the tasks so okay. far we have no challenges to report back and we we hope that this this challenge will go okay with us thank you thanks ken uh for sharing uh you said that yesterday you had a meeting as a group which is really nice as you you like you have to start with a key a keep of meeting as a, a group to understand challenges and also share some tasks um elect some of course some group representatives maybe time managers and also coordinators as well so for the yesterday's meeting where everyone from the group um present yes all the members of the group are present and we are planning to have another meeting later tonight Yes, nice. So, um, how, so far, how do you rate the understanding of the some some of the task? Let's say task one of the of the the challenge. How do you rate in yourself in terms of understanding the task in a group where the tasks really under, understood um, when you discuss with the team? We are not so clear yet. That's why after this stand up again we'll have discussion the group on slack how right. each person is understanding the task then distribute them among us ourselves nice thanks ken for sharing let's hear from uh biniam and then next is martin uh to be followed by rafa 
Okay. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity uh, to give you an update uh, on my team's progress. Yesterday we had a meeting. And we decided to. We decided that we needed to uh, understand the tasks and the objective individually before coming to uh, discussing how we should divide up the tasks. So. And that's what we decided yesterday, and uh, we've been communicating uh, through uh, Slack group, uh, uh, through texts, uh, updating each other on our individual progress and understanding. And we had an issue with uh, downloading uh, the data, uh, because it's a huge data. Um, so right now we decided uh, to work with uh, some of the data, and later on, uh, when we get the chance to acquire the, the entire data, we can just run our code with uh, with that. So basically, uh, we haven't yet started on working the tasks right now, which we will today. So thank you for the opportunity. Thanks, Biniam. So are the tasks really probably understood? As I also asked Ken, even though you had the challenge to download some some data sets, um, but I, I think I saw some guidance from Musa uh, on Slack, which I probably don't remember. It ties to the same data sets you're talking about. So, do you think the do you think the the tasks were a bit really clear when you discussed with the team? Uh, well, uh, the tasks are for some of us. It's uh, entirely new things, uh, so we, it get, uh, it takes some getting used to and uh, familiarizing ourselves with it. Uh, but in general, I think uh, everyone is uh, up to date. Uh, everyone understands the tasks and uh, the objective of the project. Uh, but uh, uh, I can be sure of that when we after our meeting today. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Thank you. Great. Great that you're meeting. Um, instead of rushing into the tasks, make sure that every everything is clear. So if, if one thing is not clear within the team, you're not probably going to produce a great result. So in terms of uh, downloading, I see Tadesa has sh shared uh, a guidance, maybe on, on the chat. So if you can follow that link to download it, so he said it's probably a bit fast. Have you tried it yet, Vinia? Yes, uh, we used that link, but uh, it doesn't download the entire data. Uh, it only gives us about 1,000 samples, uh, but the uh, entire data is consist of, it consists of uh, about uh, more than 10,000, I think. So. Uh, that approach uh, is not entirely effective. Mm. So, any let's hear let's hear, let's hear from the other groups. If anyone anyone from the groups were able to download the, the entire the entire thing, let's hear not just for the people who raised the hands, but I see enough. Were you okay, able? I, I think I was able to download it. Okay, Victor. All right, I I asked the question yesterday in the group, and then um, the question was that uh, it should be uploaded to our drive so that we can easily access it on our cooler. But then I someone um, replied me. I think um, Enoch replied my message, and then uh, he sent a co um, collaborating uh, like a collaboratory link to me. Via the channel, that's always four channel. So from the from the link, we can we can easily download the specific folder after um after uh cloning the GitHub repo to our uh, collab, then we can easily download the specific folder we needed to our drive without even downloading it locally. So if it requires us to download it locally, you can go ahead to download it from our drive. So the entire folder for what we need for um Aris and um Faeli is around um four gig four gigabytes of data. So everything is now on my drive. So I can easily access it 
I can easily mark my drive to my cool apps to run my codes and then make it work. I think the link is, is on the always for always for um channel when I ask the question, it's under the under the um the thread there. You can find the link there to to make use of it. Okay, thanks, Victor. Probably I was not hearing you well, probably, but can you also share that guidance into Slack, maybe, or on this chat, but probably, preferably on Slack. But also, I, I see some guidance from Enoch. You can also uh, consider that as well. And yeah, um, there is always a support from the team, as I always say. Thanks, um, Biniam, and also Victor, and also Enoch for the guidance as well. Let's hear from Rafa, then uh, we go to Martin. So, hi everyone, can you hear me well? Hi Rafa. Yeah, morning. Um, so, like, um, I think our group is really nice and um, we are communicating really well, as I would say. And uh, we had a meeting last day, uh, so yeah, yesterday, and also today, uh, this morning before the stand up session, uh, to just assign the task and discuss together what we are really expected to do and so on. Um, for the data, it's the same as Benim just mentioned. It's really too big. Uh, some of us didn't manage to download it yet, but uh, we are working on that, and I think we are just getting closer to have it all. <laughs> it's too big data. So, um, and what I wanted to say also is that, um, yeah, uh, for experiencing this um, being working and a little bit bigger group because the last time we were just four now we are expanding to more than seven i would say maybe eight so it's like a little bit different and uh, in my case because i'm not that person who is just uh, functioning very well when it's uh, when the group getting bigger but i need to experience that so it's really nice that i'm i'm, I'm getting to experience that uh, in this week and yeah I think that's what I wanted to say. Um, there was a question in, in terms of the training after this week four. Um, I, I'm not sure exactly what we are expecting after that. So if you can just clarify for me what is going to happen after that. And yeah. So, nice question, Rafa. And also, before I answer your question, um, you, you talked about the larger groups. So it, mean, it means that if the group's getting big, it's getting bigger, mm -hmm. that's where organization is needed most. So you need to see how, how you can organize yourself in a, a, both small team and also bigger team. So maybe the small team, it's easy to coordinate. The bigger team is hard to coordinate. So it needs more attention and also organization planning and also like having people who are in charge of different activities so to make team come together and work on the, their tasks so regarding what you expect um after week four so you are going to be communicated this as soon as possible so the first expectation is week five so the rest is going to be shared on uh, with you on slack very soon so we're mm -hmm. putting together everything. But I thanks see. for okay. thanks for asking this. Thank you. Hi Martin. Yeah, uh, hello. Uh, I hello. hope you can be able to hear me. Yeah, so uh for yesterday for uh, my group and uh, my team members, uh, yesterday we started with uh, a meeting. Then after the meeting, we uh, decided that the tasks that we, we divided the tasks according to uh, the different sections like data pre-processing, data modeling, and according to the way the tasks are already divided uh, inside the challenge documents. 
and then after that uh, we for us we work on a volunteering basis so anybody who is able to do the task just uh, picks it up and works on it and completes it and picks up another task and works on it and completes it and it can go on like that and like that until uh, the whole task is the whole the entire project is completed uh, so we have already we had already started uh, working on task 1 uh, for the for the challenge of the data yes we had that challenge but um I went ahead and downloaded it, and uh, I shared with my group members uh, a link uh, to my Google Drive uh, so that they could also be able to easily download the particular data. Because uh, now the one that I put in my Google Drive is the is the one that is uh, it's 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 already uh, segmented like there is the Swahili training, Swahili testing, and Amharic training, Amharic testing. So, like if you want just a particular one, you can be able to easily access without really wasting too much time on uh, downloading the data and anybody else who needs uh, maybe to access that data you can just reach out to me through the you can reach out to me through slack and i'll be able to share with you that link so that also you you can be able to download the data and don't waste a lot of time uh, keeping on just uh, downloading the data there are many other things to do on understanding the data uh, i will say it's 10 over 10 because uh, we were able to look at uh, the data we were able to look at some of the uh, notebooks that were already given uh, we checked them out we uh, we realized that most of the things that are, are being discussed and whatever the tutors are already sharing as uh, they go hand in hand uh, so we said that we'll stick to whatever we have been given and also we'll try to see whether we can do anything more or just do anything uh, extra besides the things that we've been requested to do yeah, so that's it from my side and from my team. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Martin. Uh, so you said your groups uh, volunteer to, to tackle some tasks. So how do you make sure that no one leaves without a task? Because I don't, I don't, I don't feel like ev everyone volunteers. Yeah, when, when assigning the particular tasks, uh, first of all, we just start by saying uh, who is going to take up this task, who is going to take up this task, and everybody volunteers, I'll take up, I'll take up this, I'll take up this. And by the end of the time, you find, by the, by the end of that uh, delegation, you realize that everybody has volunteered for a particular task. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. now through those tasks, um, we are able to follow up and check out where it's, what everybody is doing in their particular uh, tasks yeah all right thanks uh thanks martin that's that's really excellent and uh hopefully that your approach is working as well and glad to see to hear that you're understanding the tasks and make sure that everyone from the team and under really understands the task as well so let's say if you say 10 over 10 Let's make sure that everyone from the group is also saying 10 over 10 in terms of understanding the task. Right, Martin? Yeah, sure, sure. So, um, I don't know, probably before we, I go to our friend, our friend Victor, um, it, it looks like you, we, we're dealing with both uh, Amharic and also Swahili data sets. I'm not sure if they are separated and if you have yet this uh, assigned this to the groups so we don't waste much of the time so let me hear from the the tutors if this has been reassigned um Musa, i i believe that some groups we work on swahili and other groups we work on amuari is that okay is that um, is? from what you have said yesterday i said they could mm -hmm. choose oh they could choose yeah, they could choose which one. They could work on both, or they could work on either, and then show that for the other one, um, whatever they've built can be repurposed. So it means like uh, the most uh, the most important things to have like a focus on one. I'll probably see if they can also touch on the other one. So I yeah. I think that I think it's, it's I, leaving that to to the group to decide how they want to approach the problem. Mm. okay thanks for clarifying that so that also comes with uh, what martin also said um maybe if 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 you are downloading both uh, the whole thing you, you can 
start by downloading maybe Swahili uh, data sets. I'm not sure if because I haven't looked at it yet. And just to instead of wasting much time on the big, 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 big data set, uh, which is going to be hard to download. And um, also you have to make sure you decide within the group how you are going to approach this. Are you going to work on both languages or you're going to first focus on which language, one, one language, and also probably if you have time, touch on the other one, or are you able to do both? So decide accordingly, uh, accordingly in, in your groups. Uh, thanks, Musa, for clarifying. Uh, let's move to Victor. Good morning, Victor. Uh, good morning. Can yeah, you hear me? I see your hand. Uh, you can, you can. All right. Um, uh, in our group, we, we had a meeting yesterday, last evening. So we, we spoke about the data, and then we noticed that uh, almost everyone has um, not done anything similar to uh, audio preprocessing before. Uh, and then it's this this one um, seems like um, we add task to the groups, to our groups especially. So uh, although I've worked on one before, uh, and then it was my native language, but then uh, I, was, I was not training with um, deep learning. I just used the Google API for the translation. So um, we, we spoke about it, and then um, we, we, we suggested that um, we should um, download the, the uh, we should uh, uh, split this task yesterday, but then I, 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 I just uh, told them that probably it would be better for us to just go ahead and source out from uh, some materials and articles to know more about it before sharing mm -hmm. the task today. So um, we planned on sharing the task after the stand-up session. Then we can now have another meeting this evening so that uh, we would have time. And then we add issues downloading the data and uh, the likes. And then I suggested that I'm going to ask the tutors if the data can be shared, like uh, can be uploaded to their drive and be shared to each and every members of the team so um that was what i asked yesterday but then i i, I think the tutors were not online at that specific time so um uh, enoch replied and then uh, i think this morning he sent a a notebook that uh contains how to just download the Amharic and um, the swahili uh data set to the google drive and i just sent it to the uh to the to the channel now so American the um, Swahili Google data set. So I, I have it on my drive also, and I, I guess my team members have it also, so that they can easily access it from their own drive, so to, so as to run the codes on Colab. So that is what we are doing. So after the standard session today, we would uh, be splitting the task, and uh, we planned on uh, splitting only task one first, so as to do it because um, we cannot work on task two because uh, we. Uh, we do not really have the the specific or necessary resources to run the the modeling because it's going to take a much uh, take much of our time. So we just decided that we should just focus on task one and probably start building the web app, the template of how the web app should be like before even putting the model into it. So that's what we planned on doing yesterday, and then now uh, we we share the stacks today and have our meeting tonight also. Thanks, Victor. But now you have the data. Yes, yes, uh, we have it on. Great. So, take that. Probably ask you that, and also from here from the, the the tutors. But I think what you did is right because if they give you these challenges to do, so we want you to explore possible ways instead of spoon feeding you. So you're able to to go up beyond and also see how you can get the data, share the 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 links share the resources as you did in as as you mentioned that enough did that share also with the, uh, the rest of the groups so they don't struggle much when it comes to getting their data into the drive so i think what you did is right instead of waiting for the the tutors to to respond or share because there is always where you can uh, tackle uh, different challenges yeah, so yeah, any other challenge that you faced yesterday in a group? Um, 
we had challenge and uh, we we planned on um, get, um, nominating the uh, the manager and then the assistant manager for the project so as to be um, doing a follow up to the other team members on how they are doing their task and then uh, we made the manager we we choose the manager and then the we we planned on making the ladies one of the ladies the assistant manager but then I some of them declined the offer. But then uh, uh, one of our teammates uh, joined late. Then we just made uh, the, the assistant manager instantly, and then she agreed to it. And so that yeah. I, I don't think there is any other challenges now. I don't know about today because we have not started the task yet. We are going to start today, but uh, I mm -hmm. I need to know. I want I, I I don't know yet, but probably would. You know, I I don't think there would be an issue or block out but they would actually be because uh, we have not done anything similar to it before but then i think we should be able to work it out okay yeah that that's yeah it's 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 great to have a team but also have like diversity when it comes to gender barriers it comes to yeah. leaders also representatives of the group so so we where where was everybody present in yesterday's meeting? Yes, yes, yes. I think we we were nine in numbers. Yes, nine. I guess. All right. Uh, thanks for sharing. Um, I see that from the chat, uh, Mike. Mike, are you able to speak? So you can probably share instead of me reading from from your what you wrote. then what is my issue so let's first hear from Gezahen then I will read from Michael but I need more hands especially from ladies so far had from uh, from Rafa so I see Daisy hand is there so also let's hear from Gezahen and also we, we will be hearing from others as well Hi, Geza. Do you hear me? Yeah, now, now, now we are hearing you. Okay, okay. Uh, to make you some updates on our yesterday, uh, the first thing uh, after uh, creating our uh, uh, Slack chat group, we try to uh, share some information about the document, the challenge document, so that until we have a meeting, we try to overview the challenge document. Then after uh, tutorial, we we'll make a schedule and we try to have a meeting. On our meeting, we try to share some information about us and then uh, try to share some uh, information about our challenge document. Based on that, we try to uh, break down our uh, task, which is task 1.1. Uh, based on uh, our breakdown, we try to share some tasks for uh, individuals. For that, we have uh, configured our GitHub account, uh, I mean a repository, uh, uh, and we try to uh, seek some information since some uh, concepts are new. Uh, so this is our status. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the challenge is uh, some of my teams have a problem with downloading those sites, those uh, files. And I think there are some solutions now uh, for us. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, now our status. All right. You said you're also having a meeting today? OK. You, you said you are having another meeting today. Yeah, we have another meeting and try to elaborate what uh, we have uh, on the breakdown. Uh, some of the, the tasks we share uh, need uh, more collaboration and some, some of the tasks, especially from the beginning, should be uh, made on uh, each of us. So. Uh, I think we will have a meeting soon and uh, uh, to, uh, today and 
we will make arrangements for them. Nice. Uh, thanks for sharing. And hopefully that nobody missed the meeting so yesterday from the group. Uh, actually, I missed the meeting <laughs> because I was out of power when the time comes to uh, reach and then uh, I try to recap from their summary. Uh, they post their okay. summary. When they do that, I try to provide my uh, suggestion too and they accept it. Mm. So we go through like this and the uh, rest of the group meets were uh, on the uh, meeting. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, so good that you followed up, and also, also, are you you are able to share with us uh, from the group? So that's really great. And yeah, the sometimes challenges come, with, especially some of which we, we don't have so much control of, of them, especially like the power outage and other stuff. Um, thanks for sharing, Peter. And thank you. Then let's hear from Daisy. Then next people. Uh, thank you, Evarist. Uh, good morning. Um, good morning. I am in Gezahim's uh, team. He's shared much of what we discussed yesterday. For me, maybe the only block I had was getting the data set. My Swahili data set is still downloading. Um, but uh, Victor and Martin have offered to share a link to the Google Drive, so I'll be accessing those um, soon. But so far, so good. I think uh, this week we are having a really great team dynamic and everyone is checking up initiatives. So I look forward to the rest of the week. Thank you. Thanks, Daisy. Uh, no brokers so far? Well, just the data and trying to also understand the project because from my team, no one also has experience with the uh, uh, speech to text project as well. So I'm still wrapping my head around the concept myself along with the team. Okay, nice. Do you have do you have a clear view of how the schedule of submission? Sorry, I'm not sure I understand your question. Do you know when we are going to submit an in interim submission and also final submission? Yes, Can that's clear. That's clear. Wednesday, Saturday, and Thursday. All right. Yeah. That's really great. So let's hear from other people. Let's hear from the team. Uh, yes, Margaret. Good morning. Good morning, Travis and everyone. So, um, I think Martin and Rafa have already said uh, some things from the progress on our team. But what I would, uh, my question or uh, concern that I had is um, I personally use Windows and it seems like we're having a problem uh, or we need to have extra tools and for us to install it. So my question was, um, is it advisable for us to already start considering um, using Linux or should we just continue using Windows and for this project and for future projects too. Okay, so maybe uh, as probably the teams, maybe the commands are based on Linux from most of the people from the team. I don't know how easy it is it's going to, to do for you to transition from Windows to Linux, but yeah, if you probably have the, if, if they, there can be a support to, to transition, I think that would be great. Maybe let's hear from the uh, the tutors, but also I see Victor's hand. Maybe he has something to, to say on this. Okay, um, 
I, I, I don't think we, uh, you would need to transition to nine notes for uh, what we need to do. I, I don't think that is necessary. Even um, Windows now, from Windows 10 update, um, it has its own um, uh, WSL for Linux, so you can run Linux um, scripts on your Windows PC now. So the only issue, the only glitch that we should be thinking of is uh, we using Windows with um, without um, NVIDIA GPU, and then I think that is being sorted out by the tutors as they are going to grant us um, AWS uh, server um, work workspace to use with NVIDIA GPU so that you can run our codes on it. That is tomorrow. That's what I had. That they're going to give it to us tomorrow. So the the minimal one, which is the preprocessing, can easily be done uh, on our Google Colab. So I don't think uh, there is any need for us to um, partition the laptops to use Linux for now, actually. Thanks, Victor. I also feel like transition will be more dangerous or, or more, yeah, more hard maybe to to get acquainted with as by now, maybe, yeah, I see some, some suggestion from the group. Um, we can use Windows subsystem for Linux. Maybe Margaret, can you follow the this link from Yedidia? Um, yeah, I'm on it now. Oh, thank you. Okay. So let's hear from others. Maybe I speak from the maybe some people are, are of course are from the same groups, but it doesn't mean that we need only one person from each group because you also have you have to share. When you share means like even though your group you, you haven't shared with the group yet, the group can know the status and can be able to know where they can support and which challenges you're having and that maybe tutors can also answer on the call. So I'm going to pick some people if you guys are not volunteering. Mm. One person from, from the call. Hey, let's hear from Stella. Hi, Stella, can you hear me? So it seems Stella is talking. But we can't hear. We can't hear. So let's hear from Sela Salam. The next person is Ebo, as I see the hand. Hi, Salam. Okay, hello. Can you hear me? Good morning. We can hear you. Uh, well, uh, already my group uh, uh, members have already spoken. I'm um, uh, in old famous group. Uh, we had discussion uh, last night and uh, we are going to proceed on sharing the tasks today. Um, so, so far uh, it's a uh, good, uh, um, we are looking into the task individually and uh, we are going to discuss how we are going to proceed with the tasks today. All right. Thanks, Salam. Do you think there is no brokers by now from the team? uh well we already discussed yesterday maybe uh, on today's work uh, when we are going to share the tasks uh, we'll see uh, until now i don't see anything yes okay thank you salam next person ebo and also Hello, after ebo we go to stella can you hear me Hi, Evo. You can hear. You. Hello, hello, Evers. Uh, we had a meeting with the group. 
uh, and also with our coach Desmond and uh, we just divided the tasks into nine subtasks so we, we will start working on them and uh, on the blocker side uh, no blockers yet so that's what, what I have okay thanks Ebo so hopefully that uh, you will be able to to manage all submissions on time as you know for this task we have three submissions two interim submissions and also one final submission so all the best with the groups so the next person is Tera. I saw the hand. Uh, hello, good morning. I hope now you can hear me. Very nicely. Uh, so I'm on the same group with Abel. Uh, today we had a meeting and we divided the tasks and shared them. And we have set our target to complete them by evening and then have another meeting for preparation for the interim submissions. <laughs> I yeah, hopeful that hopefully everything will go well and we'll continue with the project um, as planned. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Tara, uh, for sharing. Let's hear from mm, like three people, then we tell or two. Let's hear from Eden. Then after Eden. We hear from dear Mark. Hi, Eden. Can you hear me? Yes. Eden is probably not. Yeah. Here. Good morning. Okay. Uh, good morning. I think most of my teammates said. Uh, almost everything. Okay, good morning. Um, as my team said, I also had a blocker to download the data sets, but Martin shared us his Google Drive and I'm able to download the Swahili data sets now. And yesterday, uh, we divided the tasks uh, according to our... Uh, we... Uh, selected it voluntarily so yesterday I was doing uh, my first task and now I'm waiting for the team to comment on it today I'm planning to work on my second tasks by voluntarily selecting the task among the issues we've had thank you thanks Eden glad to hear that uh, things are going well from the group so let's hear from uh, dear Mark. Good morning, Mark. I'm not sure Mark is hearing. Okay. If Mark is not yet there yet, let's hear from Tabese. Then um, if you feel like your group has not shared, maybe try to be the volunteer for the group to, to share. But I, I, I believe the groups have, have shared. Hi, Tadesse. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, as uh, the rest of the groups also said, we have uh, classified the task, the task of uh, speech processing with each other. Just uh, we need to understand everything in detail with together, uh, starting from pre-processing to modeling, so that we have uh, classified that task to each individual. And uh, we were, we are now trying to code it. And uh, for the data, uh, just uh, I have downloaded some of the data by using uh, uh, by the mechanism of the link I have submitted here for uh, text on the text for the Binima Biniam. 
uh, now uh, I am working on the task that uh, that is given to me as individual. But we have we are nine number and uh, we have breaked up break this task into nine and uh, we shared it already. And uh, we hope we will do on it and. Uh, we settled a meeting time with each other. Uh, at that time, we will report our uh, blockers and uh, we will fix the things that are difficult for each individual by participating each uh, group members. That's uh, our, from our side, that is it. But uh, a one Mulu may add if there is another. Okay. Thanks, Tadesha, uh, for sharing. And also, yeah, keep working hard in the group. As the group uh, members become bigger, you know that yeah, much attention is needed. And also, so that everyone from the group is benefiting and also contributing. So as we close, we have a few minutes. If someone is having um, a special question to ask, please, that's welcome. So, Otherwise, we close the, the today's standard. Anyone from the trainees having a question? Question which is really the question you can't go without asking. Um, it's not a very pressing question. Maybe you can just address uh, what is expected from maybe being paired with tutors this week the teams you mean what's expected in terms uh, of what basis maybe from us as the as a team members just to make sure that we we like what's the goal of having tutors with um working with the teams this week so that also even us as um, team members are able to meet that expectation from the tutor okay um Anyone from a tutor? Hi, Musa, Desmond, or Anastasia? Oh, sorry, I didn't quite get the question. If you could repeat. So what, what are the expectations from the groups? Uh, um, on this challenge? Sorry, I'm not, what's the question? What do we expect from the trainees or from the groups on the... What do we expect? Yeah. Uh, I think that's, that's highlighted uh, in the challenge document. Uh, but we can make it uh, more clearer uh, during our different meetings. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, basically, <clears throat> it's a it's an audio processing um, and modeling um, kind of uh, challenge that they have to uh, complete. But we can we can give them more information. But yeah, it's on the challenge document. Uh, but we can explain further if something is not clear. Thanks, Musa. Like during tutorials, and also Daisy, and also the t the other trainees, go carefully through the the challenge document. When you see something is not clear, please post that question on Slack, or go with the question during tutorials so they can get clarified. So, guys, um, thanks for coming. So we are almost. Uh, about the time so we can close the recording and uh, yeah have a great day